Hi, good afternoon, Daniel Thomas here again from the Love March Movement. You know, we we'll fast every single week, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are storming hard before the Lord, going hard in prayer, asking God to, to bless our nation, to protect our nation. And, you know, we always do it in the format 3.3 people every single Wednesday. That's when we're fasting. Right, so we really invite you to join us. The Love March Movement, we are dedicated to raising up an army of intercessors that will storm the throne of God week after week. Week after week. This is because we are set on winning this country to Jesus Christ. Know that for real. You see me straight. All right, cool. Well, as you know, we do it in the format 3.3 people, and let's just jump right into that. The three points for this week. The first thing is that we want to pray, we want everybody to be praying that the hearts of the Christians, that we would not grow bitter. Even as, you know, if you're reading the Gleaner, if you're reading the, the Observer, if you're reading the newspaper, watching the news, it's almost like every single day there is some atheist, some secularist, somebody cussing off Christians, saying all kinds of nasty stuff. Really want to be praying that the hearts of the Christians would not grow bitter, but that we would always, always stand in love towards those, those persons that hate us, no matter what them do, no matter what they have said, that we would stand in love towards them and we will pray for their salvation always, right? Because we not embrace the bitter culture. We not, we not praise that people dead are not like that. What we want to pray is that the Christians will stand resolute in love and not be, not be drawn away to, into this um, bitterness and this unforgiveness and this angry kind of thing, right? I mean... <clears throat> We just want to pray that it doesn't happen, right? It's not happening right now, but we just want to pray that the devil does not get a foothold as we stand for righteousness in this nation. Because, yo, last year this time, people were not cussing off the church like this. These are the end times, people of God. Rise up, take your position on the battlefield, and stand in love. Our greatest, greatest weapon is love itself. Know that for sure. All right, the second thing we want to pray for, we want to pray that... The media houses, right, which are covering um, the different events that have been happening, the court case, um, you know, several things that have been going on, that the media, that they would be objective, right? You would think that we wouldn't have to pray that um, the Gleaner would be objective, but the Gleaner has been so biased, so horrible, right? Um, they have just called random, random pastors, you know, as, as many pastors as they can, to find pastors who, you know, might disagree with what the why the church community is doing and just drop them on the front page like that it has been ridiculous right there are also reports from other christians that they have written articles that um speak out against abortion because you know abortion pro promotion is on the rise now with um minister hannah's sectoral debate and written excellent excellent letters to the paper and the paper has not published it while publishing like four abortion um pro abortion articles that same day you know stuff like that we really want to pray that our media houses that they would be objective their role is to bring across the full story and give both parties a chance to voice our opinions right and to and to represent our views as the public right so let's just be praying about that um and that they would that you know our media houses would not be deceived and that those who are already deceived would be undeceived Right, we are praying for undeception of of our um, media houses, and you know, pray for the for the leaders at the Glean. I like the team rough. If you all you have to do is just look at the way they write. An editorial was in the Glean the other day, praising you know U.S. for their um, removal of DOMA, the defense uh, defense of marriage act, and you know, just pretty much saying that you know this is where where we need to go, and this is our position that's what the editor right the editor of the gleaner wrote serious serious stuff i really want to be praying that they would stand in an objective position and allow both sides of the of the story and allow both sides um both views to be promoted in the papers and you know for other media houses as well all right we also want to pray. We want to pray for the gallists in the country. Like there is a serious culture of, of um, treating sex as if it's some tie. And, and man for have woman in a bungalow. Woman for have man in a bungalow, right? So the gallists them and the manists them. We want to pray that that culture will be broken in our country. We're standing seriously against this thing. We're saying, 
if we if we treat sex like it is some toy and we end up treating females like they're um pieces of of um you know bottles on a shelf like you want to see which bottle you like best and you you pick it oh you don't like that color i say just dash it away kind of thing when we start to treat people like that we are dehumanizing them right we we are saying christ has dignified us god made us in his image we are therefore dignified we are not animals as atheists would say we are not animals we are made in the image of god we should treat women as treasure Right, the, the the women should treat men as treasures of God as well, but more the fem I think the females are probably more a treasure still of God. Cause yo, when God when God make even a Adam just have to say, Jano star, the thing. Whoa, man. All right, cool. So we really want to be praying that the Gallus culture will be broken and that the the man them that are promoting these the influential men in the country that are prom that that are um promoting this kind of culture that they will be humbled. And that they would be, uh, that they, they we would show them the madness that they're promoting in the country. Right, one of the big things they're trying our country right now is the fact that the man them not control themselves. The man them zipper around wild. Right, them 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 um sex driver control them. Them not control them sex drive. So them have sex with everything we walk. You see me? We not promote that. We're saying, look, stand for 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 righteousness. Get married. Pour into your wife. Pour into your children. The economy would look so much better if that had happened 50 years ago. If every man did that, the country would be in a much different position right now. Especially as it contains over 83% of children being born out of wedlock. Over 75,000 um, children being born to women who are not yet 20, right? And these things feed on our economy. Welfare, um... You know, it's hard to put them through school, so we have a perpetual cycle. Then the, the, the young girls have girls and boys themselves. The children start having children. They don't know how to parent, and they don't know how to parent either. And they have children as well, and it perpetuates a cycle that is destroying our country. Get the thing straight. If you are fornicating right now, know that you are messing up this country. Jesus loves you, and we're encouraging you to stop the fornication because it is mashing up the place. Know that straight. You see me? Right, and we, we care about you, you know. That's why I have to talk the truth. I have to say, stop the thing that will kill you. Stop the thing that will kill the country. All right, well, the three points, right, that we're going to, the three people, I mean, that we're going to be praying for this week, Um, they are, we're praying for Javed Jaga, you know. We've been praying for Javed Jaga. We continue to pray for um Javed. He is, you know, he may not consider himself a friend of mine, but I consider him a friend of mine. Um... He can really say that, you know, he is hurting. He's under a lot of pressure, as you can imagine. You know, Javid versus the country. You know, he's under a lot of pressure. And really just want to pray that he would... He would just have a personal experience with Jesus Christ, that his life would be transformed. I really want to see him experience true life. Um, it must be really hard for him right now. Um... But, you know, we really want to pray that, that God would just show up and touch his heart and, you know, empower him to live for him. Right. The second person we want to pray for, I want to pray for a brethren, Javion Nelson. Um, Javion Nelson is one of the leaders there at JFLAG as well. I want to pray for his salvation too. Um, you know, we really care about these guys. We really want them to know that. You know, the Love March movement cares about you. When I burn you out, when I kill you, I'm not like that. We're really praying for you and, you know, we look to God to minister to your heart. And we're really praying for you. Um, this is not this is not some kind of show. This is serious stuff. Serious stuff. <clears throat> uh, the third person I want to pray for this week is a guy by the name of Lloyd De Aguilar. Right? I hope I pronounced that right. But De Aguilar is pretty interesting guy he's an atheist and um you know he was on direct the other day saying that he thinks incest should be legal he thinks assisted suicide should be legal a man should have a right to kill himself if he wants and stuff like that um and you know and of course um Bogri. i really want to pray for him because he seems so set on distorting the word of god it's it's absolutely ridiculous like he he's just I'm just gone. I'm, 
just have him heart so set on tearing down um, Christianity and the church that he he is willfully blind. Really want to pray for him that his eyes will be open to, you know, how how illogical he's being while promoting logic, um, and that you know he would not, you know, if you're going to argue, might as well argue truth rather than skewing lies. Um, we just want to pray for him, right? So again, the three points we pray for: praying that the hearts of Christians would not grow bitter, right? That the hearts uh, that we would not grow cold, even as we face so many insults, as the church itself faces so many insults, right? Secondly, we're praying that the media houses will be more objective, right? Thirdly, we're praying that the gallists would repent and stop the fornication that is tearing down our country. And then the three people that we're praying for, Javed Jagai, Javier Nelson, and Lloyd de Aguilera. Peace and love. Stand strong. Change your profile. Pick to the man or woman image. We're representing sexual purity in this country. We're standing against the repeal of the Bugrilla. We're standing for the redemption and salvation of fornicators, gays, porn addicts. Name all of them as much as you want to go. We're praying for them. And we look forward to seeing God touch many, many lives and saving this nation from the madness that is already going on from 50 years and not with fornication and from the possible more madness that could possibly happen if the bubble was to be repealed. Love or no, bless up, keep the link strong. Email us at lovemarch 2012 jam at, at gmail.com. Right? Or check us out on Facebook at lovemarch2012. Bless.